Hi, my name is Tremaine Hayhoe, and yes, I am a film school reject. So this is a subject that I don't particularly like to talk about. I don't like to go around telling people, hey, guess what? I'm a film school reject. You know, it's not something you want to shout off the rooftops, but it's true. But this is what happens. And maybe by my story, it can help inspire you because even a film school reject can learn how to one day make their own movies. Back when I was in college, I transferred to San Diego State. San Diego State's a beautiful campus, beautiful people, beautiful weather, everything's beautiful. So I started making movies with my parents' old camera when I was 12 years old with my friends making Lego movies. I'll leave that story for another time, but I continually never stopped. I just kept making silly movies after silly movies. And by the time I went to high school and then by the time I went to college and I had transferred to San Diego State. So I had dozens of little short films. I had music videos that I had made. I had a bunch of experience that, that I had already made these movies. And so I got a job at KPBS, which is a public broadcasting in San Diego. Shout out to KPBS. They were freaking awesome. I was student assistant, so I helped run camera. Um, I did teleprompter was my first job. I helped uh, move stuff around at the studio. I'd move the lights on at the studio. We'd get up on the ladder and go really high. We'd get up on the, um, the crane thingy and did a lot of administrative work in the office. And I learned a lot about filmmaking there and TV production in particularly. So when it came to apply to film school, you had to have a few different criteria. So one, you needed at least a 3.0 GPA. I had about a 317, not that far above, but far enough. I made the cut, right? So I was just above it, 31. And then you needed a video reel or samples of your video work. So easy. So I put together the short films that I've made, uh, the music videos that I'd made. You also needed letter of recommendation. So I worked at KPBS and I had that on the, on the resume and I actually got the president of KPBS to write me this amazing review. He actually had me write it and then, but he read it and signed off on it though. So I didn't put it too over the top. It wasn't too complimentary, but he didn't really have the time to write a whole thing. But um, he graciously, you know, I asked him if he could write a letter and uh, if he could sign off on it and he read it and he said, hey, it looks great. I said, thank you and, and went well on my way. So so I had that, had the letter of recommendation, had all of this, the, uh, these videos that I had made, I put together in a reel. And then also I had a photography reel. So I, you know, part-time love to do like nature photography, landscapes, roses, deer, stuff like that. So I had a whole, I had a whole booklet put together and I worked really hard in it. So you submit this booklet and then you get a letter, right? So you could, you could tense all these like feelings are coming back. You just hear by the tone of my voice, it's all coming back to me now. So I got a letter um, from the film program, a guy that let, uh, the guy that led it, his name uh, happened to be Jack Off, uh, uh, Jack O'Field. Um, and so his name is Jack O'Field and it said, hi, Tremaine, we regret to inform you. Yeah, you know, yada, yada, yada. I didn't get in to film school. The way it worked at that time, I'm not sure if this is how it still is, but you had to wait a year to apply for next year's round. So since I missed this, this round, you have to wait another year, apply, and then if you get in, it'll be another two years after that. So keep in mind, I was coming up on my fifth year of, of college. So I had had enough college at this, at this point. Like I would have had to have added, if I had gotten into the film program, I would have had to add another year or so to be in the film program and get access to the cameras and equipment, be with all the other kids. Like that was appealing to me. So yeah, so I got denied. So it was either wait another year to reapply where then I may or may not get in again, right? So now it would still be up in the air whether I even get in and I didn't get in the first time. Which, by the way, there were kids that had a 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 4.0. .0. They got in right away, but they had they, they had zero experience. Zero experience with any, any, uh, any filmmaking. Didn't matter. Doesn't matter their actual... 
Because a film, that's what filmmaking is. It's, it's great. It's taking tests. Yeah, you can hear my blood boiling here. So, um, which by the way, also, I worked on and helped out on roughly 30 to 40 already film students. I worked and helped out on all their projects. I would just help out for free for them. You know, I just wanted to be on set. I wanted to be on set with, with them making their movies and stuff like that. So I had all these experience and I listed all this stuff too. So I had already had all this experience of all the things that, you know, being a PA on all these sets and everything. So I had the experience. I, you know, I worked at KPBS. I had the music videos, short films that I had already done, the, the videos, the films that I had already made, dozens of them. I had a photography for portfolio. I had a raving letter of recommendation from the president of KPBS. I'd worked on the 30 short films, but I had a 3.1 something GPA. And again, other kids that had a 3.7 and above, they got in flying colors. No problem, no questions asked. So that helped me kind of have this bit of a deep disdain for that film program. And it was something that for whoever denied me, right, I was so pissed. I put the rejection letter on my wall and it, it hung up there and it was motivating me because I'm like, F you, F you for these people that I worked so hard to get in for the film program and to do this and be part of this and for you to reject me based on it had to be my grades because they don't, by the way, they don't tell you, they, they don't tell you why, right? Oh, don't tell me why, right? This, don't tell me why I got rejected, just reject me. So it got to the point where it's like, oh yeah, you can pick up your portfolio in the next couple of months. I didn't even pick up, I didn't even bother going back to pick up the portfolio. You know, I'm like, I don't give a shit anymore. I don't care. <laughs> so I left that, didn't even want to pick it up and didn't even matter what it was at that point. It didn't, you know, even though they didn't tell me and I was pissed about that, it doesn't even matter why, why they rejected me because, you know, I would have had to wait another year to apply to get in. To, then it would be another two years. So I was like, well, what do I do now? And it was either wait another year and reapply whether I may or may not get in to get denied to wait another year to, you know, so keep in that cycle, or I could get a, what's called critical studies degree. So critical studies is studying film, becoming a film critic, essentially. It's like learning how to become a proper film critic. Um, and then, so that's what I did. So I became, uh, I got the degree. I got the bachelor of science degree in critical studies. Yes, I have a BS degree. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's something that, Hey, yeah, I was so pissed at that time, but you know what, guess what? Because I went for that critical studies degree, even if I had gotten into that film program, I ended up graduating a year earlier than what I would have. So I graduated December, 2010. I moved to LA late January, 2011. I got a dream job in March of 2011. And now I was getting paid making videos and getting that experience and cutting my teeth in Los Angeles. And had I gotten into the film program, I would have still been in San Diego. I still would have been stuck. I still would have been making those same projects that I was working on other kids' uh, projects, except they would be my own projects this time, but they're the same assignments. So it doesn't even matter. And so I'm actually super grateful that I was rejected by the film program because it saved me. And I got the, I wouldn't have had the dream job and I wouldn't have moved to LA sooner and I wouldn't have cut my teeth so quickly and I wouldn't have gotten this experience. So I am so happy and grateful. So thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack O'Field for rejecting me because <laughs> I wouldn't be where I am today. Maybe I would become a professor in San Diego uh, making a documentary about trolley dancing, you know, okay, that's a deep pole, insider pole. If you're a San Diego State person, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but, uh, I don't want to be a loser like that. You know, actually most of the other, most, all of, most of all of the other, except for the one that I was kind of alluding to at San Diego State, most of them were great. You know, of course it's like anything, not all, but most were fantastic. And I learned a lot from, from the ones that I 
you know, I didn't have the actual film programs, but I had film critic programs. I actually got to take an Alfred Hitchcock class. So that was crazy. I had a whole class on Alfred Hitchcock. That was something that I'm actually grateful for. And looking back at it, I was able to graduate a lot sooner. And so, and I also learned a valuable lesson. Never wait for permission for people to give you to make your own movie. Never wait for the right moment. Never wait to be accepted by someone else. Oh, now I can make my own movie. I mean, it would make no sense if you were to apply to basketball school, right? And if they're like, well, you have the minimum requirement of grades. You can 360 slam dunk a basketball. You could shoot a three pointer from half court, but you're at like the minimum grade level. So yeah, we're, 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 uh, we're not gonna let you win. You know, it doesn't make any sense. So again, you got to kind of have as a filmmaker, you got to kind of have this kind of F you mentality. Be like, you know what? If you do have this chip on your shoulder, good. If you have been rejected by other programs in the past, great. Because that is going to fuel your flames. That is going to fuel your desires. If someone has told you, you can't make that movie, use that as fuel. Because I was told that. I was told that by a professor at San Diego State that I, that he discouraged me from making a movie. And I didn't make the movie at that time because he told me not to. You know, I was so dejected at the time and I thought I took his word as gold, right? So don't let that happen to you. So where is this going? I've been rejected from film school. I'm this film school reject thrown in the film school gutter. You know what I decided to do as of late? I decided to start my own film school, baby. I created my own film school, and guess what? It's called 48 Hour Film School. It's an affordable film school that you can learn in just two days how to make a movie from start to finish, from idea, how to formulate the, the idea, what makes a good idea, all the way up to the red carpet premiere. Now, I have had five of these already, and you can learn from me how I did it, and I bottled everything up from what I learned mistakes I've made, the trials and tribulations that I made, the shortcuts that I learned. I am bottled all of this up into this nice, tidy, tiny, it's got this nice little bow in it now. It's called 48 Hour Film School. If you type in the discount code REJECT, you will get 20% off. If you're watching it after the first weekend in October, then use that discount code REJECT. And if you aren't, then you get an even better opportunity because you get 40% off this weekend. This weekend only, you get you get 40% off the 48 hour film school. You will learn how to make a movie from start to finish. And by the way, this is not a technical course. So if you're trying to learn about F-stop, ISO, I'm just gonna F-stop you there. Like there's a lot of other courses out there that can teach you a lot of those technical aspects. This is more of the overarching aspects, which is how to write a script, what makes a good story, what makes a good idea, how to assemble a crew, how to cast actors, how to schedule your production, how to overcome obstacles on set. So whether you have all those technical aspects alone, great. You might not have the logistical knowledge that is in this course. This is more logistical knowledge on how to make the movie from start to finish, and you learn how to do it in just two days. I teach you everything that I know about making movies, and I've made five feature films so far, hundreds of music videos, hundreds of shorts, and I applied that all into that. And I want you to make your movie, because if you are a filmmaker and you wanna make your movie, and then, or if you've been rejected by film school and you feel re dejected like I did back in the day, <laughs> don't let that discourage you. And if you want to get a jump start on your filmmaking career, this is the course for you. It's very affordable. It has all the knowledge and I'm very accessible. So if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know and I will be sure to answer it and help you make your movie because I want you to make the movie of your dreams. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for letting me share this video with you. If you guys like this video, click that like button and please hit that subscribe button for more.